I'm Martha DeGrasse for RCR Wireless News, and I'm here with Phil Bull. He is Solutions Marketing Manager for Amdocs. Thanks for making the time today, Phil. Thank you, Martha. I think you're going to take us through the solution that you're showing to uh, operators, vendors, and to some cable companies here at Small Cells America, right? That's right, yeah. So the Amdocs solution that we have for small cell rollout is essentially an end-to-end -end project and program management solution that uses automated uh, process to drive the uh, plan from the initiation of the project right through to the turn up of the small cell. Um, in the solution overall we've got three main areas that I can talk about. One is uh, the user experience hotspot identification and what we mean by this is we need to be able to find out where the small cells need to be deployed and by using a tool that looks into the uh, coverage hotspots uh, identifying where the VIP users are and the value of those users, uh, as well as um, the uh, information from CRM and uh, the finance systems. We can aggregate that information together using business intelligence and analytics and be able to identify where the key hotspots are for deploying small cells. Once we've done that, we can import that data in to the plan and design solution and the, uh, this is essentially is a dynamic process and project management tool. It provides a catalog driven process automation. Uh, it uses guided user tasks. It provides uh, information about the uh, network resources and human resources and it can do things like a resource leveling to optimize the usage of those resources and it provides in, uh, interfaces to third-party management uh, uh, systems as well. We have a, a very key part of it is the uh, planning and design and assign functions which effectively combine project planning with the network design and automated assign to the, to the network so it automatically configures the network. The end-to-end um, -end process, as you can see from here, starts with the initiation of the project and runs through the planning, design, construction, and then the final uh, turn-up and optimization of the network. The last uh, key area that I'd like to mention is uh, the um, guided field force tasks. Uh, this is the um, uh, this field engineering tool that allows for the engineers to get their guided tasks on an iPad or an, an iPhone. In fact, I have one uh, on me here. Is an example of uh, one of the um, screens that we're um, currently developing. Um, and this tool effectively enables those uh, guys in the field to be able to uh, get their tasks for the day, download them, and then uh, execute them step by step. It tells them exactly where to pick up the equipment, where to take it, um, gives them information about the sites, how to install the equipment, uh, how to configure it, and how to uh, turn it on. Um, we can even do things like scanning barcodes, uploading that information to the inventory system, keeping it up to date, and uh, effectively uh, providing them all the information they need. Okay, great. So clearly an opportunity for some significant cost savings. Exactly, yes. We, we expect that um, this system will save at least up to 35% of the uh, time to deploy uh, small systems. Okay, great. Phil Bull, Solutions Marketing Manager at Amdocs. Thank you very much. Thanks, Martha.